Hello, this is a follow-up to my previous video in which I repaired this power supply and now I would like to uh, review just a few things about it and uh, in particular uh, user interface how to set current limit one way is to use the rotary encoder and another way is to use keypad is this I set button I push it so now I see the current set is to 5.1 amps which should be a maximum and by the way do you see that some dots in T and in 1 don't appear fully and I think this starts happening after a while when it warms up so it seems to be fine just after you turn it on so uh, it invites me to set uh, current in amps I would think so I want one amp and what next uh, enter nothing happens okay perhaps nothing happens so after some playing around it occurred to me to push that I set again now it set the current but to one milliamp so let's try this again I have to go out and again I set so now one milliamp so let's assume it is in milliamps not in amps uh, as opposed to this prompt so let's enter 1000 okay now I have one amp so next thing let's put it to hundreds of millivolts and try to use this encoder so what I found is that sometimes it's so tricky to set things so like now uh, it just skipped if you paid attention it went to 7 and back to 8 6 to 5 to 4 to 3 1 and 2 uh, so you, you heard the click and it went to 100 milliamps and then back to 200 so probably something is wrong with debouncing the contacts in software uh, I would imagine because uh, here is the just regular encoder which I used everywhere so I think it's a software problem so now uh, let's try let me zoom out zoom out and let's try to use this electronic load and um, uh, give it some load for example well you've seen by the way same problem here so uh, you see like five six seven eight nine ten uh. okay now it happened again click it went to two and then back to three same problem here so let's give it some small load like 400 milliamps uh, and turn on the load and here I would turn on the output and uh, let's try to adjust the voltage so when I adjust the voltage up at some point 
around four volts I believe really it clicks inside and it goes to a different tap in the transformer or is it around three Yeah, there is one transition here, which is fine. It works fine, but here, transition from 3.9 to 4. Look at this. And by the way, look at this voltage here. Well, there is a little drop in the wire, but anyway, uh, pay attention. So when I go from 3.9 to 4, relay clicks, then voltage drops to zero for a few seconds and then goes back up. Some, some other click is there, so there is some kind of delay in transition from one top to another or something like that, which happens around, well not around, but exactly from 3.9 to 4 well uh, when I'm changing hundreds of milliamps anyway uh, millivolts sorry so you see the, the clear effect it happens every time uh, transition from 3.9 to 4 and back from 4 to 3.9 first voltage goes to 0 and then after a second or two uh, I hear a click and it goes back and works fine after that. So and there is another transition around 8 volts or so or no I heard another click here. Well anyway another transition is around 8 volts or so and it works fine again oops you heard the click at 8.6 and by the way in this case there is some hysteresis so it doesn't go back until I go to 8.1 then I hear a click and then I go up again I hear a click at 8.6 again at 8.1 so, so there is some uh, hysteresis at this point but no such thing at 4 volts and there is some gap there or something like that it strikes me as a software problem again uh, there is a chance that something is wrong with hardware but I think it's unlikely and I, I would like to know if anyone can reproduce this problem maybe it's just my particular one which is not fully repaired or I mean something else failed uh, in it besides the transformer but I don't think so it seems like the transformer failure should be unrelated to this kind of stuff uh, not impossible though So, another thing which I wanted to show. Now we had it running for a while and I removed a couple of screws in advance. So what I wanted to show is that this voltage regulator, which is a 5 volt regulator, 7805, it runs at 72 degrees you see I'm probing around this area and this maximum number on the bottom is 72 degrees C and uh, let's have a look the ambient here is 29 it's a hot day 
so and there is another one you probably don't see it in the corner when I measure around it I get 57 so not as hot as that one but still a little hot so that one I measured the input to it is 20 volts so and it drops from 20 to 5 no wonder even with the low current perhaps it's still very hot and maybe things like that uh, manifest themselves as uh, that problem with display you know some uh, dots not showing properly well I'm not quite sure but I suspect some thermal things like that are responsible just because it it looks fine after uh, the first turning the thing on and then after a while this starts happening so the conclusion I don't like this guy very much and uh, I got this one really cheap for about 50 bucks and I repaired it with a lot of work uh, anyway uh, they are sold for about 200 or even 250 dollars on eBay I've seen uh, for that kind of money I would rather prefer some 10 years old agent even a broken one after I fix it it works great no problems like that and there is some gap in the in the voltage output when I adjust the voltage uh, this is just ridiculous what a heap of garbage I don't recommend this stuff at all thanks for watching bye